right, so Dan says, will Subaliner work for home audio applications in the future? It'd be great if we can import measurements from Smart instead of a pro audio speaker preset. So yes, um, that is definitely the long-term goal for Subaliner. The goal is that at some point you'll be able to not only select from these presets, but you'll be able to upload something that you've taken a measurement right now in the field and Subaliner will be able to calculate results from you from anything that you upload. The reason this feature isn't quite available yet is that you know it would take quite a bit of development resources on my part to make that feature happen. So before you know, I spend six months to a year of my life trying to figure that part out, I really wanna see that that's really what people want and that this tool is really benefiting people. You know, So as I see people starting to sign up and if more people ask for that, like I wanna be able to upload my own measurements right now in real time and get a solution, then I will you know, raise the priority of that feature on the list. There is a workaround though, if you have a little bit of patience, it's not gonna give you an immediate result, but if you look in the dropdown list here and click add new, then that's basically going to say, hey, do you wanna go over to Tracebook and upload a measurement? And if you click open Tracebook, that's actually gonna take you to the upload page for Tracebook. Uh, there's some videos here, there's instructions, there's a form to fill out, and you can create your own ground plane measurements of your speakers, upload them, get them moderated, and then I'll add them to the app. So although it's not the ideal situation to get you what you want in this moment, the benefit here is that everything that is currently in Subaligner has been looked at by me. You know, I've taken great care to make sure that everything that goes in there is really high quality and uh, really low amount of errors, right? So there's nothing in here that is, you know, just someone uploaded in the field and could have a bunch of errors and could have a bunch of noise. It's all things that I've measured myself or have gone through Tracebook and therefore multiple moderators have actually looked at to make sure that it's all really high quality. So I hope that's helpful for you and let me know what you think about these ideas. All right, thanks.